Kev looks like the chemistry even with guys out continues to get stronger. What are you most proud of in terms of the way that this game unfolded and got that big uh, I just like how we stuck to the game plan. We went over how we're going to guard this team and shoot around this morning. And the transfer um, was something that we're all proud of. You know, that's really what it is, transferring what you learn and practices and shoot arounds and try to execute in the games. And I think tonight was one of those nights we, uh, we took a step in the right direction. You talked a lot about individual accomplishments, but you, know, you passed Allen Iverson on the NBA's all-time scoring list. Um, knowing what he meant to you watching him, um, what does that mean to you? I mean, I mean, it means the world. I mean, as a somebody who dedicated his, you know, I dedicated my life to this game at an early age. So um, I watched all of these guys that I'm like passing up. You know what I'm saying? I, I wanted to be like them. I wanted to be in the NBA like them and make an impact in the league like them. So Averson was, you know, he was a pantheon for me. You know, one of those guys that I emulated every time I went outside, play with my friends. You know, so. Um, it's also real, you know. I mean, I, I pictured I would be in the league, and I had an idea, but to do it is pretty special. As a, as a DMV guy, I imagine him at him at Georgetown's got to be one of your oh, yeah. basketball memories, I would think, right? Age-wise. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I really became a huge Iverson fan, obviously, just like everybody else his rookie year. But seeing him in Georgetown and playing for Coach Thompson and that whole culture that they built there, you know, he was a huge part of that. And, but once he get, came to the league, and you know he had players from, I was a center, power forward on my young team. We all was long crossing and, you know, double crossing. And so we, he influenced a lot of people. And so to to pass him on the list and um, to be up there with some of the greats on on that list is uh, is incredible. I just got to keep going. You, you you mentioned before about your transfer from defense, from the, the defensive work from shoot around and practice to the games. You guys have been, I think. Safe to say, a lot better on that end than kind of the general public would have guessed coming into the season. What do you think has caused that? I'm uh, just, you know, being more physical, um, getting into the ball a little bit more. You know, just taking pride in one-on-one -on -one defense too. I mean, there's a lot of great scorers in this league, guys that can, um, that are very skilled in this league, and you know, so we have to be able to contain the ball one-on-one -on -one as well as knowing the team concept. And I think that's what we're starting to understand. And we still got a long ways to go, rebounding and. You know, being there a little earlier on some of those drives, but I think pretty much every team in the league is trying to fine tune their defense and get better. So I like I like the direction we're headed in. Kevin, what is a carryover from shoot around? You know, bringing it into the actual game. Everybody knows how many slow starts you guys have had, but I mean, this fast start today. I mean, how much of that do you attribute to just having the right mindset coming out of the gate? How much of it was you know the Marcus maybe spacing the floor for you guys? Or yeah, I think it was a combination of a lot of things. I felt like our intensity on the defensive side of the ball was great. I think our focus and shoot around, uh, you know, played a part in it. Uh, I think our pressure on the ball and not just switching every little screen was played a part in it. And guys came out here and made shots, you know. So when you're making shots, that makes everything a little better. Kind of following up on that, what, what does the Marcus bring to that starting unit? Somebody that can space, knock down a shot, and just a you know a big body that can rebound as well and protect the rim and we're gonna need all our bigs for the whole year no matter what and um, uh, I know Blake was in there but we need him to stay ready if we want to be the team we want to be. Kevin Patty's on a personal best I think five game average he's that came in the game averaging you know 19 points he's never done that in a five game span his career what, what is he giving you guys lately especially with that start tonight he had yeah just a <clears throat> spark plug somebody that can create so much movement off the ball you hear a lot about gravity in our game and three-point shot and he has a lot of gravity at that three-point line where he come off a pin down and he's somebody rushing at him and he can drive and create so much chaos so uh, you know we are we're excited that Patty has, you know, done a good job as a bench player and then to come in as a starter, too, and keep the same um, energy. You know, I think that, that shows how professional he is, and he's always ready, always into the game and intense. So we feed off him a lot. You know, team's going to start to help on me a lot and double-team me in my spot sometimes. So being able to kick out to him is a luxury. At the Olympic gold medal uh, ceremony, you and Ime Udoka were trash talking each other with Patty. Uh, I don't know if you remember that. It was yeah. on your Instagram. Yeah. Uh, you gave him the point early on today. Did any of that continue? Yeah, yeah. Me and Ime got tight over the last year and over over the Olympics. So it was just friendly trash talk.